Hey everyone, it's Steve from the garden. Well, we have a really nice fall day today where the temperatures are only in the, like the mid 60s. So it's a perfect day to harvest a bunch of potatoes. Now I've already went through and harvested a lot of the in-ground potatoes and I got 44 pounds out of that. Uh, plus another 11 pounds worth of uh, German butterball potatoes. And now I'm harvesting the rest of the root pouches to see what I can get. Most of what I've been harvesting today is the Kennebec, and these are some of the biggest ones I got, and these are truly very big. So I've been getting a good haul so far, so I thought I'd take you along. So this is another pouch of uh, Kennebec. Let's see what we got. In addition to potato, we also have a worm here, so that's good. Actually, we've got several worms in here. See what we got for potatoes. There we go, that's pretty nice. Now these smaller ones like this, I save these for seed potatoes. And if I get any ones that are like green because they got exposed to sunlight, those are get saved for seed potatoes also. Here's one that's sweat. Now these, I could potentially save these as seed potatoes too, um, or I just throw them in the compost pile. You gotta make sure you look out for these little tiny ones because they will grow back on you. Which I'll use these root pouches for potatoes next year. So if I miss some of those little tiny ones, it really doesn't matter. Except that I won't know what variety they are next year until you know it's harvest time. And this one has a green one on top. So you don't want to eat the ones that have the green because it will make you sick, or at least it can. But you know. Using them as seed potatoes, it won't matter because all the fresh ones will be without that uh, solarium that's in there, or whatever it's called, right? I don't remember the exact name. There's a nice big one. I really should have harvested these much sooner, but between it being kind of hot and other things I had to get done, uh, I just put them on hold. And, uh, we, we have a nice day. It's a good time to get these going. Now the texture in here is really nice. It, you can tell it's holding the moisture, but still nice and loose which is great for potatoes. Oh wow look at that. Now I don't clean these off like with water or anything when I go to put them away. Um, they'll store better if you just kind of leave them dirty and then clean them and you go to use them. This next variety is Prada. Now these are first early, and these I'm sure were done probably a month ago. A yeah, little worm on there. You can stay in the compost. I'll have the second bucket over there on the left here for all the product. Now the product don't get as big as those Kennebec do. But and something like that certainly isn't bad. This one's another Prada. There you go, nice. And a couple of worms in here too. Now I didn't add worms to this, so whatever worms are in here, got here on their own. A bunch of them down in this spot right here. Looks like a second tag for some reason. We have another green one, so up comes another seed potato. Got some right here on the top. Bucky one there. 
got some nice easy ones here. Just fill that out. Look at that. Feed those to the frogs. Fill something down here. There we go. It's like two of them are actually like joined together up right at the root. This pouch has several weeds growing in it. So let's pull those out. They should come out really easy. Get out here. So another product. Oh. Some nice easy pickings on the top here. Oh, look at that. It's probably one of the biggest products I've had so far. I have to say, harvesting from the root pouches is much easier than digging them out of the ground. And because you separate each of these varieties for each pouch, you know, it's really easy to determine which variety it is that you just harvested if you have more than one variety in a close area. So, and we have another green one up on top. We got several nice ones here on the top. And this one's even got some pretty vegetation on it, so. Now you can use even these really tiny ones for seed potatoes. You just might want to put more of them in a container or whatever you're planting them in with a little higher density. Got a triple. Actually, it's a double. And this one here is kind of weird shaped. Another Prada, another one up on top here, and that's a really nice big one right there. I filled up that first bucket. Uh, I got myself a second bucket for the three inch. You can see we got quite a few right here in the front. There's a grub here. Close the front. Okay, this is the last pouch for today. After this, all I have left is the turning butter balls. And some of the vegetation on those is still growing. And we can get to them today. Maybe next week. And we'll get to that. And I still have some of those on the end ground bed too. So this is what I ended up with. This is a bucket of Kennebec, another bucket of Kennebec, Prada, and Prada. I'll go ahead and I'll get these weighed up and we'll see how much we got. So the first up will be the Kennebec. So we got 20 pounds minus, say, one pound for the container and the dirt. So that gives us 19 pounds. And I'll do the other bucket of Kennebec. We got 21 pounds, or 21.4 pounds. Again, we'll knock off a pound for the container and the dirt. So it gives us 20 pounds. Next up is the product. We got 18 pounds. 17. And 
18 in this one, so we'll call it 10. So that's 34 pounds for the product. Here's the full harvest. This is what I pulled out of the ground today. These are Kennebecs slash uh, superiors. And over here are the Kennebecs that all came out from the root houses. So some of these are really quite, quite nice size. So we'll definitely be enjoying these. They're like a twice baked potato. They got the German butter balls here. And then the products. Now with the 39 pounds of Kennebec I got from the root pouches, plus the 44 pounds of Kennebec slash superior potatoes I got from the in-ground beds, and Kennebec and superior are very closely related. Now that's 83 pounds of potatoes right there, plus another 11 pounds of German butter bowl I harvested today, and 34 pounds of the product. So that gives me 128 pounds of potatoes I harvested just today. Now in the house I have a spreadsheet where I kept track of some of my previous harvests and I don't know what the total is right now without going to look at it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you got something out of this and we'll see you on the next one.